Hi everyone, in this video I will uh, explain you how to um, push automatically some photos on a multi-image field on a Webflow collection. So let's see what I mean. Here uh, I had a client who had like around 400 uh, photos that had to be uploaded and they were, those photos uh, were triggered by scanning a QR code. Uh, so here, if I copy the link, so this is the link that the QR code will trigger and we need to show the photo. So I didn't want to do it uh, one by one, so I will show you how you can do this uh, using the power of uh, make. And uh, of course, in order to use this, uh, the first step is to organize and reformat your images properly. Why this? Because my client actually sent me um, um, a folder that looked like this. Okay, here there are less uh, images, just for you to understand. So it, they, I had some folders, I had some HTML links, I had some uh, some images that were not organized by the same category, and they they had like very different kind of um, formats and uh, and sizes. So as you know, uh, Webflow um, allows you to upload uh, images that have uh, four megabytes. So first of all, let's organize this folder so that we can push it properly to Webflow. The first thing I did, uh, since I was not finding online any any tools that allowed me to reformat this uh, this folder on, on one click, I created uh, uh, two scripts. Uh, so the first first one is to resize the images. So if I run the script, it asks me to select uh, the folder. I select the folder, then I, it selects me where I want to create the new resized folder, the maximum size, the minimum size, also this is important otherwise it's gonna resize it very very low and basically it becomes invisible. And then uh, the format that I want, I'm happy with WebP, so as you can see I have a new um, folder here, it's called resized images, and if I click on it you can see that it's uh, generating uh, the new, converting the new, the new images. Uh, all of them are in uh, WebP, and all of them are less than four megabytes. So already this I found it useful because sometimes maybe you have uh, many images to resize, and uh, and uh, you don't really um, want to resize them one by one. Now the next step uh, would be to organize them so that they're all in a folder that have uh, their in folders that have uh, the category name. Okay, so I want these two, uh, these three images to be in one folder only because they belong to the same item. Let's say same category. As you can see, I have some of them that have a space, some of them have an underscore, some of them they don't have anything. So this was tricky as well. So I generated another script that I called group images that works with uh, uh, this regex, okay, that uh, it's matching this pattern. So QR, underscore, space, or nothing. And then uh, basically finds the images that uh, have that pattern and then creates a new folder that is called qr underscore plus this category that the category that was fine so let's run it and see what happens so again it asks me to uh, select uh, the targeted folder in this case is resized images and if i choose it as you can see straight away uh, it generates um, it groups the images according to their uh, category so if I open this, I have the two images that are 007B, 1 and 2, QRJ038B, they belong to QRJ038B, sorry. Okay, once we have all these images well organized in this way, uh, we need to upload them uh, to a cloud uh, storage provider, in my case I chose uh, Google Cloud, this why? Because uh, Webflow in the multi-image field is expecting uh, here um, URLs. So what we need to push with our automation, the automation that I will explain you later on make, are URLs. So 
as, as you can see here, I uploaded all my my folders um, just to show you how it works. I will upload a, an example folder that is this one. As you can see, it has the same pattern and has 00 AA and two images inside. I upload the folder. Here it is. So we have the DS store and then let's wait. Okay, this is the first image. That is B. Soon we will see the number eight. Okay, so now we have our new folder. Uh, so let's imagine a real case and we need to do this also for my client soon because uh, he will have uh, other QR codes uh, with other images. So I will upload like I did uh, all the folders and then I will go on my make scenario and I will set, uh, so this is a module that's linked to my Google Cloud Storage, uh, to the bucket. And then uh, this is very important, uh, otherwise you're going to consume a lot of operations. Uh, set this filter first of all on the DS store. That is a file that we don't uh, want to pass, but uh, most importantly, uh, date. Uh, okay. So if we go back to the scenario, I can show you better. So here I have two filters, time created, and I set it to today. It needs to be later or equal to today, otherwise, it's going to get all the folders uh, that were created previously. Of course, you can set it differently. There are many ways to do this. You can set, okay, run it every time there's a new folder. I prefer to do it manually uh, to make sure that everything works uh, well. So I set this uh, as today, so it will get only the images that were created today or after today, okay? Then I have this uh, text parser module. This allows me to get uh, the item name, okay? So it matches the pattern, so QR and um, and the alphanumeric number, and allows me to, it returns basically the, the name of the category. Here, instead, I am generating the URL, the public URL that we will pass uh, on the QR uh, multi-image field. So if this um, returns uh, the key value uh, that is going to be the name of the item on your uh, Webflow CMS, this one is the URL that we are passing as the images. So for you to better understand, uh, the first parser gets returns me this name, and instead the second parser returns me the URLs of the images belonging to this item. Uh, here I just rename them for clarity, exact item name and uh, image URL. And here is the tricky part with the array aggregator. Uh, it allows me to group by item name, okay, so the key generated at the beginning, and the image URL. So I will have bundles that will have uh, the, um, I will bundle together the images to the same item. Then uh, here I struggled a lot in order to understand this. Um, Webflow is expecting an array of objects as a, um, in the, in the multi-image uh, field, uh, while the array aggregator returns an array of collections. So I had to do some uh, uh, manipulations. Uh, first of all, I generated a, an array, mapping uh, the array. So I generated an array of objects mapping the array that the aggregator returns and then getting uh, the URLs inside that array. Uh, these two, you can directly do them here on the Webflow module. For instance, for you to understand, uh, you could do something like, uh, wait, like this and it would work the same. But again, uh, I suggest you, uh, if you're at the beginning also with Make, uh, to um, rename when you have uh, this kind of manipulations is going to help you a lot uh, debugging so you can do something like this it's gonna exactly the same thing that we do i just divided it in uh, different steps in order for you to have this clearer consumes more operations but it's much more clearer if you need to debug it <clears throat> okay so everything should be in place if i run it Okay, here, 
we see that only two images are passed. Uh, the filter worked properly. These are the only two that passed. Uh, here I have the key that uh, the item name that was returned, which is the same for the two images. Here I have the two URLs. Okay. So here I just rename them. Okay. Nothing difficult. Here I have the URLs bundled together in an array of collections. Okay. And now I'm transforming this array of collection into an array of objects. So an array of two URLs, and then I'm getting the URLs and store them in variables that are called URL 1, 2, 3, up to 6, because uh, I have one QR code that returns uh, 6 images. And here on Webflow, I'm passing each URL and the item name. So if I go back to Webflow, and if I refresh it, Okay, I need to go, uh, sorry, we'll do like this. QR images. Okay, we see it was uh, created properly. This is the item name with the two images inside. And if I now publish the website, because now it's staged for published. Okay, if I publish the website, if um, now it's not found, well, let's publish the website so you can see it. Then I will delete it. Okay, now if someone scans a QR code that has this uh, link, he will see the two images this way. Okay, actually, this, this automation saved me a, a lot of time. So uh, I hope that you find it useful. If you work with Webflow, maybe you found the same uh, kind of issue. Already just resizing a lot of photos can be painful. Uh, so let me know if you want to get the scripts. Uh, they're in the, um, in the description below this video. And uh, let me know if you understand it. I know it's quite complex, uh, all, the, all, the, all, the, all the tasks, all the steps, but uh, don't hesitate if you have any questions to reach out. Have a good day and uh, enjoy Webflow and make and all your automations. Bye.